to fold a shirt, first of all you need to make sure that the shirt is ironed perfectly as if you were going to wear it. Okay, then you need to place it on top of an ironing board or a flat surface. facing upwards, making sure that all the buttons are done up. Okay, so that the shirt is laying flat centrally on the flat surface, okay, with the shirt buttons and the pockets facing upwards. Okay, use your hands just to smooth out the shirt, okay, making sure that there's no creased material underneath. Okay, and if you need to, you can just tug at the ends just to get them creases out. Okay, once you're happy that that's flat, okay, so just lift up the collar, okay, and then fold from the back down, and then give it a little press with your hands, and just make sure the material hasn't creased up. Okay, so next thing then, take the globe and laurel okay, and place it over the top of the shirt, nice and central. Okay, once that's on, take either side of the shirt, lift it up and fold it over the top of the globe and laurel. Okay, make sure you try and get this nice straight edge okay, by using your hands just to smooth out any creases. Okay, and do that all the way up the shirt. Okay, once you've done that, take the sleeve, okay, and fold it back in on itself. Okay, making sure you pull this material to make sure there's no creases. Okay, once you're happy with that, take out the globe and laurel and place it back on top of the shirt. Okay, using the straight edge of the globe and laurel, line it up with the edge you've just created. Okay, then you're going to take the other side of the shirt and do exactly the same thing, folding it over the top of the globe and laurel. Okay, again, just use your hands to straighten out all the edges, making sure there's no folds in the material. Okay, then, exactly the same as before, take the sleeve, okay, fold it back in on itself, and pull the material tight so it doesn't form any creases. If you need to readjust your straight edges, okay, now's the time to do that. Okay, next thing you're going to do is take out the globe and laurel and just check that the width of the shirt is now the same all the way up, the same size as the globe and laurel. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're just going to shorten the width just by a few millimetres, so it's actually just a few mil short of the globe and laurel. Okay, this way, once we've folded the whole thing, it should make it easier to adjust. Okay, next thing you're going to do is place the globe and laurel on the top end of the shirt and just fold it in. Okay, make sure you tug on all the edges, press them down, and just smooth out any of the messy material.
Okay, then once you're happy that that's tidy, take the globe and laurel, place it on the other end, the bottom end of the shirt, okay, and then fold that end in over the top. And again, just go around the edges, making sure there's no messy material. If it's too small, you can always just tug the ends just to get it to the right size. So use the globe and laurel, go around the edges, just check it is the right size. Okay, if you need to make any adjustments, just do so by pulling it in. Okay, once you're happy that all the edges are nice and straight, okay, and you're happy that it's the correct size, as in exactly the same size as the globe and laurel, okay, just use the globe and laurel on top, okay, and turn it the other way around. Take the globe and laurel out, okay, and just double check that all the edges are nice and straight. Okay, use the smartest edge, okay, the nice frontal edge facing outwards in your locker to present it in your locker.